dresses. And this is where we're going to put our dresses here. Uh, and then we're going to go, I'm just going to go down on this, you know, end region. Beautiful. Um, and so what we're going to do here um, is declare our main base. So int main player base. I should really buy a more quiet keyboard, guys. I know this is a bit loud when I'm smashing the keys. Equals. Uh, let's put. Uh, yeah, so we know our bases, don't we? I know, I believe we do. So let's check this out. Uh, main player base points two. Yeah, as you can see here, uh, main player base equals that. Uh, I don't know if this is the original one. I'm just going to check the engine here. I actually lost all the values. I believe this is our main player base. So, um, in order to tell uh, the compiler that this is a hexadecimal value, value, you always need to put zero times in front of it, otherwise it will give you an error. Okay? See that? Um, and our offset is... Yeah, so then we go int main player multi level oops, level equals new int um, 0 times 30 because as you can see our offset is 30 there. And because this is only a le one level pointer, yeah, we only need to worry about that. Is that enough? I think. Looks like I made a mistake there. I'm trying to figure out where I did it. Oh, I see. Because I declared a normal integer set an array. My bad. That should fix it. All right, great. Um, and then we want to go player data ADDR um, main player offsets offsets equals new player data. I think I just realized what my bashing was, which was, I believe, um, me bumping my foot on the floor, and I just realized I've been doing it all along. So I hope that hasn't screwed up the audio. So remember, this is what we figured out earlier, guys. So here's our X mouse, Y mouse, and so on. So you remember here, this is what we defined. So our, our X mouse is at uh, 10. Uh, remember, 0 times 10, that's the address. Our uh, Y mouse is at 0 times 14, as you can see there, uh, 14. And then we have X pause at 4, as you probably guessed by now. And then we have Y pause at 0 times C. Uh, where's Y pause? Yeah, as you can see there, 0 times C. And then we have uh, Z pause at 0 times 8, as we've written down, obviously. A small X there. And our health is at 0 times C4. And that's the beauty of it. So that's our stuff there. Uh, and that's all we need. Because what we're going to say is we're going to say uh, find our player through the base. And then we're going to go add um, a, a pointer. Basically, I know some games are going to have. The, that's the reason why I did this as an array and not a normal integer. It's because some games will have four or five level pointers. And then that way you guys can do it for those games that way. Um, and that's it, that's it for our, um, our main player's address. So then we're going to do another one of these. I want to call it enemy addresses. Addresses. I want to end the region here as well. Because we don't want to leave any region unended. It did, it did, it So the beauty of regions is you can close it and you know what's going on in there. Okay. So our first thing to do here is... Um, just moving down a little bit. So we're going to create a list here because we don't know... Well, I'm sure you know and I know, but we don't know how many. Uh, we're going to assume that we don't know how many enemies we're going to be dealing with. So we're going to do a list, um, which is going to. If you don't know what a uh, list is, it's um, basically an uh, an array that can be. It's it's not coded anywhere near like an array, but it's like an array, uh, in theory, because it uh, can hold our men, however many objects you want in there or variables, whichever you want. So it's. Think of it as an unlimited sized array. Um, so enemy addresses. Obviously, if you're dealing with C++, you need to create your own array list. But um, I'm assuming you guys are still following C sharp at this point. So new list player data. And close and close that. And that's going to be used to store all our thingies. So int close that. En one multi level equals new in. This is just like this here, guys, in case you're wondering. Uh, new in. I'm just going to do that. 
new rent. Uh, obviously, I'm doing zero times thirty, but that's not what it is, as you know. It's uh, if we go. Oops, there's my videos. So if you go to the enemy coordinates, if you remember this, um, it was uh, the offset was four and f four. If you can remember it, four comma f four. But we're not using f four because uh, we want to go to three zero. Do you remember? If we go f four, it goes directly to the health, and we want to go c4 before that okay so because we want to start just above the uh, xyz coordinates so we can find out where the enemy is and so on so um that seems about right to me uh, multi-level yeah seems fine to me um we've got to define the uh, enemy base as well i think or we don't do we do we not no we don't we don't never mind enemy address and this play data um we do that and then we're going to declare a couple more uh, in multi-level obviously um the more enemies you've got, the more of these you're going to need. Um, there's an easier method of doing this. Uh, to, there's an easier, easier method of doing this, but uh, I haven't been able to get around it yet, so that's why I'm doing it this way. But yeah, this is our first player's information, which is 04930, and that seems fine. Now, something we're going to need is we're going to need a little bit of pi. So we're going to float, and we're going to declare our pi equals. 3.141592 65F and I didn't do that off my head guys so I read from my next page and I know you can always use math.py uh, for um, you know uh, actually hang on. yeah that's fine you can always use math.py but that returns a double and I prefer to use the float for this so bool game found equals false that's obvious for what it is it's just to let us know whether to run the hack or not because if it hasn't found the game then don't do it focusing on enemy equals false now this is something very useful because as you may really you might not realize unless you take it off but uh, if I'm just gonna do this quickly what this does is it makes sure that when you're holding right click or whatever hotkey you've got for it um, it makes sure that you keep focusing on the target that you want to shoot at. For example, if you don't have this, what happens is because we're detecting whichever enemy enemy is closest to us and shooting at them, what will happen is if you're aiming at someone and shooting at them, and someone comes comes closer to you than they are, then it will quickly switch that person before you shoot and kill the other guy. So you want to make sure it aims at that person until you let go of the mouse and press your button back in. Okay, and that's why we use this for. So I hope that makes sense there. Uh, focus target and there you go that's it for our global variables there what we're going to start off by doing is do our game choice so we can choose our process which is the game so obviously go here double click that um, and we're going to go uh, hit try we're going to do a try catch to make sure we don't have any problems and if we choose a process that's screwed up or something then we um, we give you an error for it so catch uh, message box dot show Oops. Could not connect to process. I believe this is uh, from uh, what's it called? I believe this part is from Pingo's um, code. So I'd just like to mention that ex dot message because I didn't catch a exception. So let's catch an exception here. Exception ex um, ex dot message. In theory, I've never been given this message, but it's just as a safety precaution. Could not create a process, yes, that message. And there you go, that's good stuff. And then what we're going to put here is we're going to say for int i equals zero, i is less than my process dot length i plus plus. Uh, we're going to need to, um, I'm just going to check quickly here, my process dot length. Initialize component, no, 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 my process. Um, yeah, something we're gonna have to do here quickly as well is we're gonna, we're gonna have to um, uh, fire the event for mouse click. So whenever you go click here, choice comma box click, is we're gonna have to do this. So game choice comma box dot items dot clear. First thing I wanna do is clear that message box. And then we say my process equals process what? I 
believe this is some FI or their get processors. So let's grab all the processors into um, processors, processors, I don't know, into an array. And then we say for int i equals zero, i is less than processors.length. Uh, dot length, so go through the whole array, i plus plus. And that's the good stuff. Oops. Let's go close that again. Uh, that seems fine. And then all you say is your game choice dot box dot items dot add. And we add the process there, my process. So what we do is we add every process to our list, our combo box, process name plus so once again we're still on the part that I uh, used from Pringo's um, example. So I dot ID. So we want to keep the ID and we want to keep the um, process name. So we do that and we add them all to the list as soon as you click on it. Okay, and that's fine. That's all we need from there. And then what we do here is once we've got so we're gonna do this part now. So we're gonna go my process zero equals process. Come on, why do I need to use a capital P every time? This is stupid. Dot get process by ID. And then we do int dot pass game choice combo box dot text dot replace. Uh, my process i dot process name plus dash. Close that. Okay. And then we say main module equals my process zero dot main module. So it grabs that process that we've just chosen. Um, so whenever you've chosen something, we focus on it. Oops, oops, oops. Main module, not main module. Where did I get that from? Module, module, module. And that's fine. And then we say mem dot read process so it reads that process um, and uh, and the open process dot open process what's your problem uh, oops 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 sorry oops equals oh come on equals my process Zero because that's the selected index. Is it? No, no, it's the first one. Uh, mm -hmm, open process. Uh, and game found equals true. Obviously, at this point, we found the game. There you go. Equals true. And then we say, here is something that you don't have to add here, but you know, I decided to. Dot base address equals main player base. Main player. multi-level equals main player and the reason why I did this and I declared those as globals is so you don't have to keep editing halfway through the code because um, that way I'd have to write you see how I did it here for example I need to write um, I need to write it like this um, for example and then you know you're modifying halfway through the code that way you modify at the top and you'd have to modify more see that can you hear that guys it's my squeaky um, desk thingy need to oil it up and also the squeaky thing. Alright, so main player dot offsets equals new player data. This is gonna be a bit of a long run. That's what she said. Main player offsets main player offsets dot x mouse. So here I'm just gonna just copy this uh, and then the rest will be clear to you. Main player dot y mouse and then main player offsets dot xpos and then what? yeah xpos y pos um, dot y pos obviously next one z pos z pos and then do a new one uh, z pos and then our final one is health actually z pos x z y why is I think I might have found a problem here with my tutorial dot health is the last one for some reason I believe Try to figure out why I did this, uh, but I basically have Z pause. Oh, I think I know why actually. I think that's the way it ends. 
it reads it. So, so how does it read it? So x, z, so it's int x, y, z. So I'm just going to have a quick look at my player info because I believe I may have 